right all welcome back to Beanie's Hobbies and in this video we are going to be taking a look at the FL Sun Super Acer. Now I was that impressed with this printer <laughs> I had to go and buy another one. So yeah as you can see I actually have a nice pair of FL Sun Super Acers. <laughs> so both exactly the same it's just why have one when I can have two so me being me two so we'll probably just put the camera over here and focus on maybe one or two or anything we don't know so we will take a look at some test prints and then we will go over the machine but i will say now this is the best delta printer i have ever owned and if i was you and you're looking for a delta printer go and buy one right now it is absolutely amazing Right, so unusual Beanie's Hobby style, we shall take a look at the test prints and then we will go over the actual printer itself. So first things first is this. Now this was already on the memory card that came with the printer. So basically just nut and bolt. Nothing too spectacular there, but like I say, threads together easily free movement and this thing printed in about 12 minutes <laughs> the speed of this printer is absolutely ridiculous um, but obviously with speed there comes a cost quality now if you're one of these people that don't mind who are prepared to spend a bit of time sanding filling then yes you can print things at tremendous speeds but me being me, I prefer quality over speed. So I always tend to slow the prints down. But I say this printed in about 12 minutes. And I won't say there's anything wrong with the quality of this. Okay, so up next we had... Well, I just knocked off a pair of these. Which are airbrush stands so also when I'm doing my airbrushing I can just stand my airbrush down so they were just quickly just like I say just quickly knock them off nothing spectacular let's put one down I can't hold two but as you can see here quality wise is actually outstanding and look at that quality I cannot fault this printer for print quality at all whatsoever next up this was printed in four parts as you can probably tell by where I've glued it together it needs to be sanded and painted but we have a small Batman cowl I'd say came out incredibly well I kind of do love this purpley, glittery coloured PLA. I mean, all these prints you'll see at the moment are a PLA. I mean, I have printed in some PETG as well. And that printed absolutely fine. Obviously, with PETG, you do need to slow the print down a bit. But that came out absolutely fine. But that part isn't for show and tell on this video. Because that is for something else, which will be a later video. Okay, so up next, guys, we have a variety of vases. Now, Technology Outlet over here in the UK were nice enough to send me a reel of their filament, which is this taffy pink silk PLA, and it is absolutely amazing. Look at the colour of this, guys. I'll leave a link down below in the description for Technology Outlet. I mean, they are a one-stop shop for anything and everything 3D printing. And they are some really good guys over there. But, I mean, obviously this was printed in VARS face mode. VARS mode if you're... Face mode for you Americans, VARS mode for us Brits. But, I mean, this isn't a duff bit. This is like some fluff stuck on there. Look. But, I mean, look at the quality of that print oh amazing and we've got this one we do have four now see i went a bit bigger 
and yet again look at the color of this filament oh i mean obviously pink is not going to be your everybody's thing but they do have a massive variety of filaments on their website all various colors but i mean i am so impressed with this pla i know there's no holes there's no gaps it's absolutely amazing I'm going to have to show the other ones, guys. I went all out, all out with these vases. Look at this. I've got another one. But I am loving this filament. Let's get you a bit closer. This in here. Not a misprint. That is literally just a bit of fluff. Flawless. Look at this, guys. Absolutely flawless. I didn't have one bad print with these printers at all. I mean, normally with when I'm printing, I'll always get one Dove print, but no, this FL Sun Super Racer, as you can see at the bottom here, I didn't have it, I didn't have it quite set quite right, but it's the bottom. <laughs> this is the important part. I know you're probably getting bored with looking at vases by now, but I'll have to show you the last one because this one is my favourite. I mean, look at the colour. Maybe you guys follow me on Instagram, but I am on Instagram, uh, Beanie's Hobbies. So look me up on Instagram, you'll see a lot more pictures of my prints and other various things that I get up to on there. But look at this, guys. Oh, I don't know if it's doing anything for you, but oh, beautiful. Look at that. Anyway, that's enough of the test prints. Oh, one more look. Yep, yeah, yeah, there you go. Right, that's enough of the test prints. Now, let's get into the printer. So, starting at the bottom. <laughs> Might as well. We have a drawer. Empty drawer, but good for storing snacks, I suppose. And now, obviously, this printer does come in a few parts. Assembly-wise, you're probably looking about 15 minutes. Really isn't difficult. Um, you're bolting four bolts on the bottom on each one and then obviously the same at the top four bolts on each one obviously you need to connect your stepper motors up uh hot end wise these actually these arms they say they're carbon fiber not convinced they're carbon fiber but they are sprung loaded so it's just a matter of just pulling the spring apart and just clipping them on making a few wire connections and away you go now we do have up here nestled in the corner do have a dual drive extruder and above that we have filament detection and then obviously the spool sits up here on the top of the machine fed down through a little hole through the top of the machine obviously then down into the detector into the extruder and down into the hot end we do have a heated insulated glass bed i've had nothing come unstuck at all whatsoever from this bed and then also we do have full color touch screen which is removable just held on with a magnet Obviously, you can loosen this off, slide it up and down, position it wherever you want. But now, what I like is... Hello. You see my ugly mug. Now, if I just fire the machine up, let me show you the start-up start sequence on this. Wow. Isn't that just so pretty? So, we have, so we have a full-colour touchscreen with all the controls we could possibly need right here at our fingertips. So we've got print, where well we can print, obviously. We have our tools, we can heat, extrude, move the hot end, change the filament. Yes, we do have auto leveling, which I will come to shortly. Change our language. We have more settings where we can just basically turn the fans on and off, or turn the stepper motors on and off. And then obviously we then have, I can get you guys zoomed in a bit more. Just pick you up probably easier 
there we have the printer info so there we can see we have a build area of 260 by 330 so when they say 260 that is means 260 rounds so across it's 260 then obviously by 330 tall so it's a nice size build area you can see from the vases that i've printed you know you can print some very big objects with this printer now auto bed leveling as well that comes in the form of a sensor switch okay so all you do inside here's a piece of metal and the hot end is a magnet so you clip it into place and then move you guys up you then plug your sensor in okay click auto level and that'll then level the bed it is quite a lengthy process so you will just have to bear with it while it does level the bed but i've only had to level the bed once then once you level the bed you can then set your z offset and away you go now print speeds on this thing they're quoting it can print up to 200 millimeters a second that is exceptionally fast um i haven't printed anything at that speed just yet because i prefer quality over speed but this printer is more than capable of churning things out at that speed the quality you're going to get isn't going to be as great as something that would be a lot slower these vases that i show you they were all printed around 60 millimeters a second but i mean i just love these printers um i did knock up a few of these roses for the other half she's always complaining that she hasn't uh, she doesn't get enough flowers so i thought why buy flowers and i can print some <coughs> cheapskate um so here we did knock off these roses so they're ready for paint um basically i sped these up a little bit it was an hour to print the stem and that was about four hours to print the head of the rose so this is a more than capable printer it's a very fast printer it is feature packed printer i have had absolutely no issues at all whatsoever now i did buy this and this with my own money nobody's actually sent me any printers nice as it would be um so these are all bought and paid for from my money so i wouldn't tell you it's um junk or it's good etc etc you know this channel isn't sponsored in any way shape or form so like i say all the printers you'll see on my channel i've actually bought and paid for myself and i have got no issues at all with these machines whatsoever if i had issues i definitely wouldn't have bought a second one um, so if you're looking for a Delta printer, I would recommend the FL Sun Super Racer over any other Delta printer that's on the market at the moment. Yes, you don't have the biggest build area in the world, but it's got all the features, functions that you could possibly need. And the test prints that I've been printed out so far on these machines have come out absolutely amazing. Now, if you're looking for like printers, filaments, spare parts or anything like that, and you are based over here in the UK, give Technology Outlook, look, out, oh my God, give Technology Outlook, oh my, I can't speak. I just, I can't, oh guys, let's, let's have a look. Look at the time, 10 to 12 at night, I'm still going. So, <laughs> technologyoutlook.co.uk, that is what I'm trying to say. Give them guys a look for, they are, they are really, really good company, guys. Yeah, look at that. Give them guys a look, definitely for sure. And like I say, thank you guys for sending me this roll of filament. I'm absolutely in love with this Davy Pink filament. Ah, oh, it's so cool. But yeah, give technology a look at look, guys. Um, you won't be disappointed. But anyway, FL Sun, Super Racer, thumbs up, awesome prints. Awesome quality machine, well built, extremely sturdy, solid machine. Can't fault it in any way, shape or form. Removable magnetic touch screen, which I love. I mean, I've had all the other, I've had the, um, the other FL Sun Delta printers that I've made. And I've always had a little tiny screen right down here at the bottom or at the top. Where this one, you can just take off and, you know. Put it wherever you want. So that's got to be a winner. Anyway, guys, that's it for me for waffling on for this one. 
like I say, it's getting late, I'm tired, and I'm going to bed. And I'll catch you all in the next one. Cheerio!